Greetings, I am nothing, nobody, a resident of the Phantom Line channel. You can call me Feelinoid. What you're looking at is the monitor for my BeagleBone Black. It's really small. Yeah. See? Here's my cell phone to give you a sense of size. It's really not that big. Yeah. And this is this is my small phone. My big phone, my phablet, dwarfs it. So anyway, that's my BeagleBone Black monitor. It's basically a really cheap HDMI monitor. And this is my BeagleBone Black. And this is the keyboard for my BeagleBone Black. And that's a mouse on this side. So it's a keyboard and mouse combination. Wireless. All of this really cheap. Okay. Oh, and one other part. Modem. Or BeagleBone Black. Do you run a BBS on it? Okay, now, the advantages of running a BBS over use, running a website. Let's say the social justice warriors take back the internet, which is kind of what they're threatening to do. And since it's really not theirs, they're not really taking it back. They're just stealing it from the rest of us and doing what they usually do, make the internet all about them. They've been planning this for 10 years now. So, so they got like a, a long head start on us. So yeah, we're pretty much in a losing position on this game. However, if we fall back to the BBSs, then they got to start all over and we're already ready for their, uh, their game. So it ain't happening. <laughs> now, if they do take back the internet or take away the internet, um, and you're running a website, you have to follow their rules because a website has to exist on the internet. It does, you know, it can't, it, you know, can't be outside of the internet. Whereas a BBS does not rely on the internet for its existence. It relies on this. Now you can use the internet to, you know, to make it so that people can get to your BBS easily and reliably. Now another, uh, another detail is that basically by means of HTML term, which is a, you know, a, a Telenet, you know, web gateway, you can turn your BBS into a website. So people can actually access your BBS as a website. And basically it's a website that can exist outside the internet. Doesn't rely on the internet for its continued existence, but you know, and until there's actually a need to get off the internet, it can easily be on the internet and accessible by the average person. Also, BBSs are a little easier to manage than websites, being that they are made, you know, to run on lower end technology. And well, yeah, and you know, and, and uh, your BBS can be on that, it can be on one of these little things, you know. Also, it can be on. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can do this. That thing way over there, that is a Commodore 64 asset, well, a Commodore SX-64. An old, old 1980s computer. A BBS can run on that. So basically, <laughs> um, 
yeah, there isn't much that a BBS can't run on. Okay. So it's a matter of you've got a you know, you've got a computer to do you know a discarded computer. Slip a BBS on it. You don't buy a Beagle Bone or a Raspberry Pi and set up a BBS on it. So there's that. In my previous video, I did, I discussed the costs, which you know I estimate is about a hundred dollars, but that's to be on a phone line and the internet at the same time, and uh, and that's a hundred dollars a month. And in the video description, I'm going to link instructions on how to set up a BBS as well as places you can buy a microcontroller such as a BeagleBone or a Raspberry Pi.